Hello, Game Day Coaching members. This is Rick Storley with New Home Sales Coach, and we're talk here, back here to talk about your remodeling action plan. In other words, what experiences can you stage during your sales design, production, and warranty process to take what would be a lead into an owner and ultimately a raving fan, someone that's going to be happy to refer you and go out of your way to refer you. So there was a book written a while back called The Experience Economy. And, and what it talked about is the different levels of our economy and what moving on to the future here, what people will base their product decisions on uh, is the experience they have with a particular service or product that they're purchasing. Now, price aside, we know price uh, also falls into the experience, but as a remodeler, what you need to focus on is doing what other remodelers won't do and creating an experience so that people create the raving fan. Because the the lure, what's the quote? The lure of a low price you know, wears off pretty darn quick. And so what we have to do is, is become uh, a different and differentiate our home built or a remodeling experience so that people come back time and time again and say this is the company you need to use let's look at how it works there's going to there's going to be several experiences and the first thing we're going to do as part of our preparation is your office experience what we want to do is we want to incorporate uh, your five senses and so create a kid zone in your office if somebody needs to come in with uh, and bring their kids in uh, a coffee bar snacks and cookies be playing music you know make sure there's a good smell in the office and so make sure all those uh, things are in place for your infrastructure now moving on we get to our pre consultation so if someone you you had a lead you've done your qualifying and now you're going to get ready to go out and meet them so the first thing we got to do is of course complete our lead tracking sheet confirm the appointment with a phone call and send them the email with the send ahead all these things that um, you're going to do is what other remodelers will not do. Now we get to our initial consultation and design consultation. We want to give them that needs, wants, and wish list. Show them the agreement. Bring in the designer ahead of time. Send them handwritten thank you notes. S summarize the consultation. Email them the action plan. Uh, on the design consultation, hey, if it makes more sense to meet at their house, meet at their house with your designer. If it's better to meet at your office or at a showroom with your designer, do that. But you make you make the call, whatever the best uh, uh, experience I'll have as far as that uh, that particular meeting. A phone call for your designer to introduce themselves. A thank you after the meeting. Summarize the notes again with the next step for the hand deposit. So we're sending another handwritten thank you from the designer this time. Flowers sent to her home after the after the plan deposit. We get into selections and final pricing. Uh, we're going to you know confirm their drink preferences when they come in for their first plan design meeting. We're going to send them a welcome letter with all your selection representatives. Uh, names, locations, map, photos. And so when they go to meet them, they're going to be able to you know, know who they're looking for because they'll have their picture. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, and send a, a coffee cart along with them you know, to take time to relax while visiting the selection centers. Now we get into production. Uh, once you get into a purchase agreement, you're going to give them a gift card right away for a local restaurant and a coupon. Hey, let's celebrate. This is exciting. They're moving forward with their remodeling. A handwritten thank you note. Welcome them to your builder family. Get their birthdays right away uh, of the owners if there's kids. Uh, and doesn't matter. You can just put them in your calendar. And that's the reason for you to send them birthday cards each year. Uh, give them a couple coffee mugs as a, as a, little, a little gift. Make sure when you're doing your pre-construction meeting that you're ordering lunch. Uh, groundbreaking photos. Or in this case, it might be uh, production you know starting photos where when you do the first demo or the first uh, groundbreaking you get a photos with that and you send them a congratulation card where they can actually send it out to their particular friends uh, paint bucket you're gonna to want to present a selection book with photos of all their selections some of you might be doing that al already right now uh, the groundbreaking photos uh, we talked about uh, congratulations letters will get sent out. So you, you do this word improving cards and you send them out to their to their neighbors with their pictures on it. So if they know them, you know it, it builds instant trust. Uh, and then this is something fun here, uh, delivering a paint bucket, you know, once their framing is complete for their new project or at a certain stage, uh, now it's time for a, a treat. So paint bucket, this is actually a, with cookies from Apple Cookie Company, fun stuff there. And then post-production, there's a whole list of things to do here as well. I've got some budgets on here with some estimates. You know, the question is, what is a, a referral worth to you? In most cases, it's worth several thousand dollars. So we've got some estimates uh, of, of what it would cost you to do these things. But the bottom line is, this is where you're going to make or break your business. Happy selling.